This fucking thing just ate my pick. That's no good. Just made that one too. Hmm. I'm really hard on picks. Oh, that steel sucks. That's what I'm gonna go with. The steel sucks. And, uh, we'll work on that later. Okay. This is an Abyss. I think I was memorizing. 4530, which has been really pissing me off because it's a little bitty lock. It's made in China. This should not be an issue. I won't say that I'm a pro, but I'm not that bad. This fucking thing won't open. And part of my trouble has been getting tension that doesn't bind on the lock. It doesn't get in the way of pick. It doesn't fall out. For what is essentially a glorified luggage lock, this thing is putting up and help me fight. See how the money's worth. Didn't expect it to last more than 30 seconds. It may last longer than the battery on the camera. This rig. I will note, however, that the logo is completely gone from both sides, so not very good paint there, guys. Or dye, or whatever the fuck it is. Not a great job, I'm gonna finish the matter on the next train coming. There. Oh my god. Praise God. Pass the whiskey. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, Rich. I wasn't supposed to slam the lock down on the table. Okay. So that was an Avis 4530 made in China. I didn't detect any security pins other than the fact the very sloppy in there. Um, kind of like master lock in some ways, but I mean, it's possible that there were serrations, but I doubt it. I think it's just really squirrely. So anyway, um, if you want to be really frustrated and go try all of your tension wrenches simultaneously, um, this is a good lock um, to do that with. I'm probably out of focus, but anyway, definitely out of battery. So I'm going to put this back on here. And uh, Abus, you need to work on the paint. This had a little Abus logo on it. It's gone now. It's all in my hands. So anyhow, thanks for watching. Have fun. And please keep it legal. This has been Alex. Cheers.